Yo, it's Pop Playboys. Welcome back to another video, man. Man, feels good saying that. But in today's video, whoa, Dusty looks crazy. Bro, what is all this on her? Yo. Yeah, you need a you need a wash. But sheesh, look at that intercooler, you guys. Damn, Dusty. Dusty fast now, you guys. In today's video, we're gonna be installing a boost gauge on Dusty. Um actually have a setup where actually have a setup where it connects to the vent um as you guys can see i kind of already started removing the pieces this piece right here is pretty simple to come off it's two bolts well two uh phillips screws as you guys can see right there and um yeah you just pry it off and it pops off then you have to remove two more phillips screws one's right here other ones right there and then there's two uh hex hex eight millimeters screws i believe yeah that i can't really show you guys but if you guys stick your hand inside you could definitely feel and you'll be able to remove that as well the gauge part that i'm actually installing is one of these um i have the same one on this side of the car but now i'm installing one that goes into the head unit and it's gonna look so nice having a boost gauge on i don't know what side he had um if this if this boost gauge can reach all the way over here then I won't install it over on this side and that means I don't have to take out this to remove it to put it over here but if I can't install the boost gauge on this side then I'll have to do all that work so fingers crossed that I don't have to do that and hopefully I can go on a little drive I do have a couple data logs I have to do well actually one data log I have to do because I am currently still getting tuned um you already know who's tuning the car Yost the goat that boy's getting me right. Car feeling, the car is feeling really, really nice. And I'm pushing, I think, 8 PSI to 9 PSI. So, yeah, especially on E85, this car is feeling nice. Um, we're trying to keep the torque really low so I don't, I don't have to blow a trans. <coughs> so I don't have to blow a trans. But we also want, you know, the power to be up on the top on the top end. So if I can make, like, close to 400, 390, 380, I'm happy. But, yeah, let's jump into the video. Let's get this pod installed. Um, I'm going to remove this damn head unit real quick. And then uh, probably give you guys a little instruction on how to install this. And then, you know, go on that pool. Five minutes later. Bro, I'm not even going to lie to you. Those two freaking eight millimeters are probably the most, like, softest metal I ever touched in my life. Bro, look at that. Come on, focus on this. Focus on this, bruh. Come on, bruh. Right here. Okay. All right, bro. Just know that it's super, super soft. Like the metal is crazy soft. And if even if you try to use a, a screwdriver to remove it, you start stripping it. So be careful. But yeah, bro, what was Honda thinking? Like I never touched this. This car never got touched. Nothing ever got pulled out from here. So those are OEM bolts that Honda installed. I don't know what they was thinking. Cause them bolts, them bolts right there, doodle cheeks. So now to remove this, it's simple. Uh, let me see if I can do this with my hand instead of using it like a pry tool. Ooh, damn! I've been hitting the gym lately. I lied. I've been hitting them wings lately. But um, yeah, I got this out. I actually need to put the camera down so you guys can see. Hopefully, you guys can see from right here. Can you see? All right, you guys kind of can see. So basically, what I did, um, where you, where you, where you, ah, where you take out those two uh, hex, not hex, where you take out those two Phillips screwdrivers, and that's where you basically want to pry up on. Um, I pried up. It should be held on by a couple clips, and you should be able to just pull it out. Like that. And all, oh, make sure you don't scratch none of your, uh, your interior pieces. But yeah, basically what I needed to do. Wow. This, this thing is big. Mr. Bishis. Wait a minute. <laughs> that's, that's something crazy to see. Come on, focus on that. 
focus on that. I don't know if you guys can see that, but I'm, try I'm still trying to get used to this new camera. But um, that says Mitsubishi. So technically, technically, you guys, I do own a Evo. I own the Honda Evo. Boy, if you don't. All right, guys. Sadly, I have to remove the gauge. Well, actually, I already did that. Um, simple. Just remove uh, all the connections, which I already have right here. I actually took off the ground. I don't know why. I didn't have to. But yeah, you remove all the connections that you have plugged into your gauge, and you just pull it out. Um, where is it actually? It's right here. Uh, that gauge is actually gonna have to go on this side, and I actually do have enough cable for that to reach. Siri motor did a real good job of giving you a lot of wire with this uh, kit for the flex fuel sensor. So yeah, I'll be able to route all that to over here, and this gauge is gonna go right here. So for the go gauge, it's gonna be pretty simple to wire it up. Um, they gave you four connections. I'm probably just gonna be using three because I don't have a constant, or at least I don't think I have a constant that's always on in the car. Um, I don't feel like finding one either, so I'm just gonna connect the. I'm gonna connect the orange, and I believe the yellow, or is the red and the yellow, and the black is of course a ground. Um, one is for memory, the constants for memory, and uh, I'm not using that. And then the other two is for light. And then the other ones from dimming when you know the car gets dark, so that has to connect to like a headlight. But the other stuff could connect to like probably the radio or something like that. When a car turns on, it turns on with it. And yeah, it's gonna be pretty easy, pretty easy install. Um, only thing that's gonna be a pain in the butt is probably removing this vent because I don't want to take out the whole uh, the whole radio system. Because if you guys could see that, there is a lot of plugs. Well, a lot of connectors and I'm not trying to go into that and trying to figure out which one goes to where yeah I'm not really into that right now so hopefully I could just fill out the screws or even yeah it shouldn't be in a lot of screws should be only four screws I should be able to get that out and uh, remove this hopefully I don't have no problem with this AC vent being in the way because the cores are coming this way so I should be fine so let's see how it does all right guys so the gauge is in um just gotta do the wiring I had to cut a lot of the material on the back of this. Uh, I had to cut a lot of material off the back of the little, uh, this part right here, just because I didn't want it to pinch the vacuum line. But yeah, I got it in, it looks nice. Um, just gotta do the wiring now. But before I even do the wiring, I'm gonna try to remove this. I already have two of the screws out. It's these screws right here. So it's gonna be one right here. Then it's going to be another one right here. And then obviously two on the bottom. Um, I wish I had a better angle to show you guys, but I can't really get you guys a, a decent angle. But yeah, once you remove those, this should be able to come up. And boom, you guys got it out. Let me show you guys where the Phillips screws are. So it's one on that side, one on this side, and one at the bottom. It's kind of hard to reach them. If you was to pull out this whole thing, it would be way easier to remove them. But um, don't do what I did. I actually removed the Phillips screws for the hazard lights. And I was like, bro, these are a lot of screws just to hold this in. And I ended up taking the whole freaking assembly out. But yeah, there's only three screws for this. But some for some reason, <laughs> I have four out. But whatever, I'll figure it out when I'm putting everything back up together. Uh, now, this should be the easy part. Uh, I kind of remember how to do this. If I don't remember, that's going to suck. But yeah, uh should be very simple from my memory I just have to pop off these clips once you pop up pop off those clips you got to remove these inside and yeah after that I explain a little bit more but yeah it's pretty simple to get this gauge pod inside and boom you guys I got it out got the new one in it looks freaking amazing um, I just need to put back the silver trim and uh, mount it back up in the car it's pretty easy to actually get this out, like to get this stuff out. I'll actually link one of my videos when I did the other side, so you guys can actually see how I did it, but it's pretty easy. Um, you're gonna have these fins inside that you're gonna just wanna pull out, and then um, the stock, like mount, not mount, but like vents, you just wanna pull those out too. Then what you're gonna do after that, you're gonna need a flathead. Turn on the light. You're gonna need a flathead to actually pry the sides up which will be right here and right here. Once you do that, you'll be able to pull out these things. 
and then you're gonna need to remove those and then install the new ones by pressing the new ones in on the side and like basically you're going to squeeze it sometimes you are going to hear it pop and click meaning that you got it in but it actually is not going to be in because as you try to put it in it's probably going to fall out so it'll probably take you a couple couple tries to do it but me it took me one um i guess i got used to doing the other one that's inside dusty and uh yeah i was able to crack this out in like less than three minutes so yeah have fun doing that all right guys so i finally finished up the install i'm not gonna lie it took longer than i I expect it to be real with you. It's about to be 11 o'clock and I started doing this around four. Um, the easiest thing to me was really just putting in the gauges, but the hardest part was just trying to figure out like what, uh, like where I'm gonna get the power from. So uh, yeah, have fun figuring that out. Um, I did use, I believe 19 and 25. If I'm incorrect, I'll definitely correct that, you know, post edit. But yeah, bro, um, not it was pretty, pretty hard. Not pretty hard, but just, very like time consuming because trying to figure out which one you want to use and you know using the wires and stuff i didn't even use all the wires i only used three of the four wires i used the orange and i believe no i didn't actually use the orange i used the yellow and the red i didn't use the orange the orange is to dim so my lights are just going to be bright all the time but to be honest with you they're not that bad like this is this is supposed to be the brightest they are and that's not that's not bad at all like even even with it flashing that's not bad and i find it pretty cool that it has all these different colors and you know especially the one that slowly changes i think it's this one one of them do it is it this one well one of them slowly fades in and fades out and i find that pretty cool because it matches the you know the interior of the car so yeah, I'll probably keep it on that one whenever I find it. But it's getting late. I need to go to sleep because I got work in the morning. So uh see you guys tomorrow. So I can get that pull in for you guys so you guys can hear how dusty sounding. Cause I haven't done any type of pulls and I really haven't even like talked about me being turbo yet. So probably catch that in the video before this or a video after this. But yeah, uh see you guys tomorrow. Aww.